Today on The Real. From superstar to superhuman, there's no stopping her. Our girl, Christina Milian, is here. Cheers to the team. And on Girl Chat, cheating or not cheating? Cheating. No, no. <laughs> then, should parents be fined for their kids bullying? We should get to the problem. Yeah. yeah. Hurt people hurt people. Plus, it's all in the cards. We're playing Luck Be a Lady. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. On The Real. a major problem in schools nowadays. In fact, an estimated 3.2 million students are victims of bullying each year, Oof. and 160,000 students skip school each day because of it. How crazy is that? Jeez. Well, one Wisconsin town thinks they found a solution. You ready for it? Okay. If you're the parent of a bully, you're gonna pay. That's right, the town of Shawano passed an ordinance that if you're the parent of a bully and you don't correct their behavior in 30 days, you'll be fined $366. That's not it, that's not it. And if your child bullies again, the fine goes up to $681. So ladies, you guys are into this, right? You guys are in. So I wanna okay. ladies, do you think that this is a good way to stop bullying in schools? You guys, yes? No. By a round of applause, how many of you think it's a great way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can see, I can see that if you dip yeah. into a parent's wallet, you the kid is absolutely gonna feel the pressure. Well, what if they don't pay, Jeannie? I mean, it's still people that don't have the money, they don't I care. I know, what and if they here's don't another have the thing. money to pay. There's a reason why bullying continues. It continues because the victim is too afraid to tell, or if they tell, there's repercussions that come exactly. back from the bully. So most of the time, if that bully gets in trouble because of their parents, Guess what's gonna happen to that victim? You know what I'm saying? There's something that's you gonna happen what? somewhere else. I think they need to stick to suspending their bad asses. That's the yeah, issue. Okay? No, I don't agree with Get that. Them out of school. I do not agree with suspension because a lot of kids are like, oh. I don't have to go to school? When you get suspended, what happens? No, because then that parent will get tired of them and make them act right. And the thing is, they need to make the parents come in and sit down and have a meeting and talk about why their kid is acting the way they're acting. Yeah. It's not about just money. It's about really sitting down and understanding the social implications of bullying. This is a serious problem. Right. And I don't think yeah. you can throw money at everything. But a lot of the time, would you guys agree? <laughs> That may be the reason why this child is acting out is maybe because they're not getting their parents' attention or the parent that's always, really doesn't that's know. That's why you need the source. Doesn't well, know what's source, going on. The source of bullies, I, I think the source of bullies come from the broken backgrounds. Yes. I was about to say, and you disconnect. can't put a price on it. Right. I think we should get to the problem. Yes. Yep. Hurt people hurt people. Yeah. So, right. I don't think you can just... Here's oh. the problem, though. Those families, sometimes, in, in those instances, they come from way broken things that we can't mm -hmm. just fix here. So yeah. it just it trickles down to the kid who's not happy and then brings that unhappiness onto a victim. So I applaud, first of all, uh, this city in Wisconsin mm -hmm. who's actually trying to do something. Let's yes. try to see it, it, something being done because we want to bring the attention across the schools. That's great. I think we got to teach these bullies some type of empathy. We got to sometimes somehow get them to serve in some way. Like, if you get caught bullying, I do think that you should be punished and your, your time sure. should be taken from you. Yes. But maybe you have to serve in some way, serve in the community. Yes. Like, maybe not I think the parents should pay. I'm, I'm sorry. I think if your child is bullying at some point, the parent really needs it, okay. to understand. Okay, let's go with your method, right? Okay, yeah. the pay Play method. this out, play yeah. this out. But let's say they don't have no money. Now you what you gonna up, do? You gonna give them take, a, a collection no, notice? No, you take that child out of the school. I don't want that, I, that child thinking. should not be in that That's school. That's what I was thinking, because usually what happens when a child is bullied, mm -hmm. 
the people, the child and the family who had to deal with the bullying, usually they're the first ones to get up and get out. And that takes a That's lot. That's a lot of toll on the kid and the family to pick up and, and change their lifestyle. Yep. So I think they should kick the bully out of the school. I completely, That's what I I think. completely agree with that. Because let me tell you, let me tell you, you have kids, Sam, and I'm, I'm saying the day I have children, if someone is bullying my child, I would like to think that, you know, I'll be able to keep it, my composure as the adult in the situation, and confront the parent and say, listen, your child is doing this to my child. It is a parent's responsibility, in my opinion, to instill kindness right. into yeah. a child, to say, this is unacceptable behavior. You cannot go around kidding, verbally abusing, treating people badly. That is a job of the parent. And let me tell you, if I say it one time and it happens again, me and you as the parents are gonna have problems. But I'm gonna, if your child is hitting my child or whooping my child in school, if I tell you one time and it doesn't change, I'm coming to whoop your ass. Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. However, it can be, I do, I do love, what I love about what you're saying, Jeannie, is you actually have compassion because you know that hurt people hurt people. Yes. And sometimes bullies may have parents, it's, it's cyclical. Yep. Maybe their parents were bullied or abused. Because a lot of the times, behavior is learned and it's passed out. So what well, I'm saying is- my child gotta suffer? My child no, 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 that I no, no. made up I'm not in my saying, head that I'm, I'm fighting not, for. I'm not, I'm not, making, I'm not making an excuse for that. But what I'm saying is sometimes bullies' parents are just as bad as the yes, bullies. Yes, and they're not gonna- And, I'm, and, well, and, and so learn maybe, and, maybe this is, I, I just okay. thought of maybe a compassionate solution. Yeah. I'm gonna pray I love for them your after I whoop their ass. True, okay, I wanna that's fine. Okay. Lord, true. kill them. Okay. But I actually have a friend who is a school psychologist. Okay. This is what she does. She works with children who have had bad um, backgrounds and they've been neglected. Um, so maybe, you know how they have detention? Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can put the bully because they, they need to have repercussions. Mm -hmm. But maybe really sit down and, and, and talk to them and, and see where the... where like the therapy session. Yeah, so like a therapy session. Well, that's see where saying. it stems from. That's because just think about it. If, the, if they do have the money thing, what if they got a parent that can pay the money and don't care and just... Yeah, like, yes, just, and they I just pay the money. money. Maybe yeah. use Instead that money talking. towards some real therapy. Okay, then maybe put a fine, but the fine goes towards therapy the ther session. Yes. They put their butt in, happen, in therapy and, and kick them out because it's just not fair not to fair. kids that's trying to learn yes. that they have to be afraid Innocent victims... Yeah. It's just so unfair. No, I know. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. I think we kind of came up with a solution. Okay? Yeah, you did. Put the kids in therapy. Yes, and parents, <laughs> get them the help they need. Parents, know your kids and give a damn about your kids. Yes. Exactly. Now, yes. from being fined to being faithful, BuzzFeed recently put out a questionnaire detailing several different scenarios and asked their readers to decide if the situation was cheating or not cheating. So I just thought this was kind of interesting and I wanted to go through some of these scenarios to see what your opinions were, okay? Yes. So I put some paddles here for you ladies. That I'm excited about Cheating on this. one side. Oh, Lord. Not cheating on the other. Cheating. Audience, you know you always cheating, part of this cheating. table. I'm ready. So I'm going to read the situation and we're all going to decide, okay? Okay. All right, first up. Your partner flirts with someone in person but doesn't physically do anything to them. Cheating or not cheating? cheating. Not cheating. Oh, wait, wait. audience, applaud if it's cheating. And applaud if it's not cheating. I'm with you, audience. I say not cheating. I do. Okay, because, like, cheating. Israel flirts with old ladies all the time, and I think it's so cute. Yes, and, and Freddie flirts That's for... cheating. No. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, let's try another scenario. How about your partner goes for coffee with someone they like? Is that cheating or not cheating? That's cheating. Cheating. If wait, your partner just no, goes for coffee Wait, you have to define like, though. Like, do they like him as a friend? Do they, I mean, their co-worker? Did he tell you that he if was he, going and, and, to coffee? And if, the, yes. If, if he told me. If he me, told you. I if he had told me, I would have told him you can't go. Really? Really? If, really? He, if he tells me, hey, babe, I, I, like, that girl's hot. I'm, like, into oh, her. Oh, different. And then they gonna go have coffee? What, I look like an idiot just sitting by? Yeah, baby, go have coffee with her. I know you like her so much. That's why I think you have to Who define the word like. Okay, you guys... Like, like some, like how you liked a boy in school. Oh, then hell no. Oh, no, 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 no
stuff. You're not going yeah. to have coffee. No. Yeah, no. no. Okay, no. next one. Your partner, how about this? Okay, this is a good one. Okay. Your partner logs into a chat room oh. and starts talking sexually with strangers. Cheating. Cheating or not cheating? He's in a chat room. What is he doing in a chat room? Not cheating. I say not cheating. No! Why, why do you say cheating? What is he doing in a chat room? Being funny. Having fun. In yeah, a chat room? That's he's having fun. Cheating. I do that on a Friday night. <laughs> Okay, I got okay. another one. How about this? Your partner follows someone they like on social media. Cheating mm. or not cheating? Not cheating. That is not okay, cheating. Okay, I mean, no. yeah. Okay. Lonnie? Lonnie? Not cheating. Okay, <laughs> got it. All right, how about your partner downloads a dating app, doesn't meet anybody from oh, it. Cheating! What are you doing cheating. downloading a dating yeah. app when you're dating me? Like, exactly. What are you doing? They haven't swiped yet. Really? If they just download it? No, they don't need to Yo, be on no dating What were apps. your intentions when you downloaded that What's app? What's your motive for yeah. downloading if a dating app? If you already dating, why is he on a dating yes. app then? Yes, I agree. Some would say it might be to see what's on the menu. No, well, that's boo, you got cheating. the whole restaurant right here. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I say cheating. Question, because before every decision, there's what? There's a motive. Right. So what's your motive for downloading the app? He gonna get him some. It's cheating. <laughs> yeah, like, what am I right? supposed to do? I'm gonna wait for him I am. He, yeah. So I'm gonna wait till he swipes left. I don't know which way it is. Swipes left or right. So I'm gonna wait till he finds the love connections and then be like, I'm just not one to cheat. Your partner gives their phone number to somebody they like. Define like again. What? The like you, they're talking about is somebody it's they cool. wanna it's knock cool. the boots okay. with. Okay. Uh, cheating. <laughs> I say cheating. <laughs> Jeannie. Oh my God, Jeannie! It's not, yo, what does he I, have to do? Is it possible? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Is it possible to have a really trustworthy relationship? Freddie and I make a lot of business encounters and yes, stuff. We have a lot of trust friends. Me. That you what like, do they Jeannie? need to, to be talking about? That you like. If not your someone, husband is sexually attracted to I'm another woman, kind of, I'm, I'm why telling are they talking? You, I'm not that kind of girl. All, he, all I have to do is catch him cheating, and then it's done. So but you want to catch him, but you let him do all okay, the other Okay, when you stuff say before. catch him, you want to see... Giving Physical up. penetration for you to be like, this is cheating. A recent article on lifehacker.com revealed that over half of American adults believe in at least one crazy conspiracy theory. Like, for example, the moon landing was staged or the earth is actually flat. They mm. say that we believe in them because we are naturally hardwired to be paranoid and that we hate not being able to be in control of a situation. So, ladies, mm. do you believe in any crazy conspiracy theories? Oh. Ooh. If you asked me in high school, I would have thought that Tupac was going to come back. Oh, okay. I believe that, too. Ooh, or Tupac was still alive. Yes, yes. yes. He's still... in Cuba somewhere. I'm you telling think you. he's really gone? Yeah. You know, I would wish... Uh, I'm they so say he's in, in Cuba. Really? Yeah, yeah, when I went, I was looking for him. I didn't I, see him. Yeah, Machiavelli, we want you back, man. Yeah, there oh, was a lot was like true. that. Yeah. You know? They say Elvis Presley is supposed to be alive as well. Yes. You're right. I do wonder if aliens exist. I do wonder that, because there are so many people that That's swear that they saw something. Right? You know, and they always have, like, video footage and everything that looks real. There's also um, some people that believe that chemtrails, they're releasing chemicals. And the chemtrails are what you see that comes out of the jets. And it's really? acting like, yeah. And some people are saying that that is a, a way to control population for the food supply because they believe that, and they call it chemtrails because they think that it's uh, chemicals. But, but where are the chemicals going? In the, uh, down in on the it? earth. Because when you see the jet, when it, it releases it, but like it comes in, the, down. In, in our food? Yeah, and, and on us. Just, you know, it just comes down on us. Into Ooh. the ozone layer. Right. Or okay, something. well, now How you're going they... deeper. Yes. Well, sometimes I wonder if they've already found the cure to cancer. That's what they, they said that, the, you know, supposedly the FDA, you know, that, that's a conspiracy theory yeah. that they already have a cure for cancer. But and pharmaceutical that. companies Pharma make so they much are making, money. Yeah, that's are making scary. money. So they, they don't, make a lot I mean, of money. These are conspiracy theories, okay? This is like, you know, this, yes. this is not. <gasps> yes, what? these okay. are just things we've heard. So, you know, Snapchat? Yes. And you know how you have to press that circle button? Yes. And that little, like, grid comes up on your face? Yes. Uh -huh. I think. They actually, I think the government is is, is um, scanning our faces, scanning our faces, uh -huh. and putting a face to our name and re and recording that ish, so you they know, know. They also say that who you we know, are and where we are at all times. Now yes. that doesn't Do bother me. You know why? Why? Because if you ain't doing nothing wrong, why you care? 
But yeah. still. No, but what they're doing is... I know they're they following that, you, though. Where I am. They say that it could be like an ID scanner. That's See? just like... They say um, the cable that you have, when you turn it off, it doesn't turn off. Yes. And it's actually recording <gasps> you stealing your the house. Dot on you your know Apple. What? Oh, you know what I believe? Every camera... Whether it's on your computer, yes. Yes. on your phone, yes. on your TV, it is tapped. always recording. Yes. Doesn't matter if it's on or off. Yes. That's true. Yeah. Now, for believers, you know how in Revelations it said that they would give us the mark of the beast, if anybody knows biblical yes. terms. Right. And they're saying now that the chip in the in the in the credit cards, how it's the end, God is coming. God is coming. I'm trying to tell you people right, why. Right. No, they say that the chip, it's getting closer and closer to the chip actually being under yeah, your so skin. Yeah, so they put it under your And skin. they're saying that that will be like the mark of the beast. And they Conspiracy also talk theory. about Area 51. Uh, What's or that? A so-called Area 51. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. that? I don't know. Aliens. 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 Where is stuff. it? They Area 51 them. is in Nevada. And See that's it. where they're, you know, supposedly doing research with the aliens. Ooh. So you have to wonder where these come from. Like, yeah. you know, where do these yeah. random... It's so detailed that they can't not be Let me tell you lie. something. If you listen, because, you know, I be up at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. If you listen to AM radio between 2 a.m. and oh, 4 a.m., no. Girl, Girl, you, you hear some stuff. No, seriously. Like, Wait, like what? what? You hear all kind of conspiracies. It's called Coast to Coast. God. Coast to coast, she, they will give you everything, all types of conspiracy theories. It comes on from like 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. And you know, sometimes because I'm coming home late, I listen to them. Yeah. This doesn't freak you out? What? No. The only thing that scares me is when they talk about like seeing like, um, you know, seeing ghosts and stuff like that. Okay, can we all join hands and pray? <laughs> I mean, oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. We here at The Real love hearing from our amazing fans. And yes. although sometimes we like to clap back at the haters, uh-huh. we also really enjoy reading all of the positive comments you leave us. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yes. We love you guys. For example, at Maddie Marlowe tweeted, I am seriously obsessed with At The Real Daytime, a talk show all about positivity, empowerment, and so entertaining. I love, love, love. Love. We love, 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 love you, Maddie. Thank you. Thank you. And Madeline Thank Steinberg you. wrote to us on Facebook and said, great show as usual. Whoever is doing wardrobe styling this season oh. is spot on. The women always look great, trendy, and unique in their own way. Especially Lonnie. Woo! They Yay! gave her style. Why, yes. thank you, Madeline. I well, love it. someone else who gets fan fan loves on social media is our beta fish yes. here at The Real. Nando. Fernando Idris Goldstein Lee, yes. who has his own Woo-hoo! Instagram account, at Fernando The Real Fish. So please follow Fernando. Now, one of our viewers, J.W. Ford, is also a visual artist and painter from the Bronx, New York. BX. Hey. And felt really inspired by the love Tamara showed for her beta fish, Aww. Molly. So... This is a surprise to you. It is. Yes, it is. Because JW, as part of her International Mermaid series, thought that it would be fun to digitize her painting and replace the mermaid's face with your face, Tam. Really? Yes, and present it to you as a fine art print in honor of your love for Molly. Aww. Wasn't that sweet? <gasps> this is what there's people it. do for us. That's so good. I want to see really it. Sweet. Now, I have her painting you right here. Painting. We're about to see Tam as this a mermaid. This is going to be the official unveiling. Are you ready, Tamara, to yeah, see it? Yeah, sure. Drum roll, please. Wait a minute. Tam, she even got your mole. I, hold up. Wow, can I see it? Yes. Wow, Tam, I like your belly button. Wait a minute. That is really good. She did an amazing job. She really did. She did. And I love how smooth my belly is. You look beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. You look like a sexy piece of sushi. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. You look good. <laughs> Indeed, Jeannie. I love this. You did a beautiful job. Is there something you'd like to say to her, Tam? Yes, thank you so much. Aww, she. That's so cool. That, that looks cool. amazing. It's beautiful. I love my hair. It's very um, ethereal. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
That, that is, is awesome. beautiful. Oh my gosh, we have to thank JW Ford for sending in such an awesome, beautiful painting. Thank you so much. Our next guest is a triple threat. She's a talented singer, dancer, and actress who we've watched grow up before our very own eyes. Now you can catch her as the panelist on the new Fox show, Superhuman. Please give it up for Christina Milian. <laughs> You. It's always good to be back. I feel at home here. Yes. Oh, good. Oh, yes. You guys always look so good too. So are you. Yeah. So are you. Are you? Cheers to the team. All right. All right. So, all the ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everything thank you. starts first with the woman. Yes. Aww. All the women. Yes. Okay. So your daughter Violet yes. has a huge following on Instagram. I am oh, one of yeah. them. <laughs> and she's seven. She's seven yes, years old she's now. She's just so cute. Yeah. Oh she has goodness. about eighty-nine thousand followers. Yeah. That is a lot for a seven-year-old. I am one of the eighty-nine thousand. You know, I didn't put them up. Like, her pictures, it's not meant for, like, trying to build a following. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's so many people that are interested in Violet's life. And it started off that I was putting up pictures of her and I, you know, when she was born and when she was a baby. Everything mm -hmm. just, like, throughout the extended yeah. period of time. And then it got to a time where it was, like, music and different, like, related things, like, yeah. on my page. Uh -huh. Didn't really match up with that all the time. Oh, So, I was like, you know, let me keep a family-friendly, like, Violet... Instagram page. That's so, why you yeah. made it separate, yeah, right? Yeah, I made it separate, Cause exactly. you be you have some hot yeah, pictures, right? I got a little yes. bathing suit action every now and yes. then. Yes. Fun with my girlfriends, you know? So sometimes, you know. How do you handle the online trolls and oh. the cyberbullying, though? Oh, man. Well, so far, we haven't had any cyberbullies, but okay. I do, Good. I check everything. I read through the comments. Yeah. Okay. I check out what they're saying. If anything sounds inappropriate, I'm like, oh, blocked. Yes. You manage oh. the account? Uh, yes. I okay. manage the account. I post her pictures. Violet doesn't really know how to do that just yet. Uh -huh. Does but she have a, a phone where she can see her oh, Instagram? No phone yet, even though she's trying to convince me every day, but she uh -huh. has an iPod. So okay. she's on the iPod, and, you know, she, she looks at my phone every time I have two phones uh -huh. for the purposes of my child saying, where's your phone, Mom? Yeah. Right. We all know about that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Violet gets the phone, and she looks through all her pictures, and she looks at her friend's pictures. So it's common now. Oh. I feel it's more common. And yeah. I wanted her to have her name before somebody else took her name, too. Oh, oh that's yeah. so smart. That's smart. That happens. That's, that's smart, smart business yeah. thing. Now, I follow the both of you on IG, and you've posted yeah. a lot of pics of yourself over the past year um, without makeup, and we get to see oh. your freckles, and I love great. it. Oh, you see my freckles. Yes, yes. and yes. I love it. Gorgeous. Thank you, guys. You Thank follow you. the IG Thanks. story. You're barely ever with makeup on your IG story. Oh, You're yeah. always natural, and I love that. Do you think it gets easier as you get older to just bear yeah. it all? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think these days it's like we're flooded with all these, like, makeup ads and all these different yes, things. Yes. I think it's important to see the true value in yourself and just being yourself yeah. because you don't want to put on this perfect, you know, the, this perfect view of what you are. And then after that, when you're walking around the street, because believe me, there's paparazzi everywhere, like, yeah. mm -hmm. on the daily. Yeah. I, I walk around without makeup and sweats. I'm like, I want to show the true me. And I like just talking to my fans, letting them know it's real. Oh, so. I love that. I love yeah. that. Yeah. I love it. I watch it. I'm like, yes, skin, come yes, through. Skin. <laughs> yes, freckles. I love the freckles. I love it. You recently also made headlines because, um, well, paparazzi caught you in a video, right? What did I do? So, <laughs> with you and with Nick Cannon, who's your ex. Oh, yes. You guys yes. broke up a while ago, and uh -huh. now it seems like you guys are maintaining a friendship. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, so what yeah, happened? Yeah. crazy with this video. Oh, my gosh. Um, uh, yeah, he and I were actually meeting on some business, but um, it's uh -huh. funny. No, it really was business. <laughs> It's on the tech side. I'm doing some stuff in tech, so I was uh, talking to him about doing something for him in okay. tech. Um, but <laughs> it sounds. <laughs> but honestly, no. I think uh, Nick and I hadn't spoken in like 10, 12 years wow. since, oh. since we had broken up. Yeah. Uh -huh. And in recent times, you know, we're both parents now. Mm -hmm. It's just we've grown up, and I think now we're like, you know, we have history, and people love. It's like a throwback moment. I couldn't believe somebody called paparazzi because we were just a sugarfish <laughs> having lunch. Yeah. And somebody called the paparazzi on us, you know, eating or whatever. It was but, probably um, the person that you dated right now, Brandon Ooh. Wild. Ah. Yeah, Brandon. Ooh, that yeah, you dating the, the New York Jets. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. You guys look so cute. cute. Did you put pictures on Instagram? Huh? <laughs> um, I met him. He slipped in the DMs. <laughs> really? What? Wait, are you serious? I'm he really works. 
<laughs> it, well, it worked that time. I've oh. never met anybody else, to be honest with you. But I will say, like, you know, I look through my direct messages. Mm -hmm. Like, there's business opportunities. Yeah. You know, friends sometimes yeah. that you're like, oh, wait, they're on Instagram now. Yeah. So he actually sent me a message. And um, I opened it, and I was like, wow, OK, this messaging. Like, he was like, the way he communicated the message was really nice. He's like, I think you're a beautiful, a beautiful woman, yeah. very oh. positive energy. He's yeah. like, I would love to take you to dinner. I understand that you have a daughter, so I'm very mindful of your time. And I was like, nice. oh, he melted oh, my heart right that's there. That's dope. Yeah. So oh, I thought it was what? really nice. He's a nice guy. And he was verified. So and he's a, a younger yes. guy, right? You said he, he was verified. He was verified. He was verified. <laughs> Superhuman showcases ordinary people with clearly amazing superhuman qualities. Yes. So what's the craziest ability you've seen so far? Well, um, I'd have to say people with these amazing memory skills. Um, I've had, we've had contestants come on the stage and we'll have 40 people dressed in tracksuits, different colors, like a different color shirt with their name on it and like five numbers on each one. 40 people, they'll watch each person run past them and literally after no. all 40 people have run by, we'll ask them, okay, name each person one by one in order Name, what was their name, what were the numbers on their shirt, and what were the colors, and no they will name way. 40 people in a row. That they've like, never seen or met before. Never seen, never met, like, they're backstage hidden in another room. Like, this they've no, never that seen. That's crazy. Wow. I'm so impressed wow. by That's it. not a God-giving gift. I don't know what I it is. Like. Yeah. I can barely memorize, like, what I'm doing, like, my name sometimes. Yeah. I, call, okay. I call my daughter Violet. I call her Lizzie. You know, I, that's my <laughs> yes, sister's name. Yeah. I, one thing I've also learned is you could actually, you know, train your brain as well to do these oh, yeah. things as well. Mm -hmm. So. I'm like, oh, I'm inspired. I feel like I should probably work on that. Yeah. Oh. I need to work on your memory skills because, you know, yeah. we're getting older and there's a lot of people and things that we're doing these days. So I'm like, okay, I got to right. keep, it, keep it all Train together. Well, Train Christina, we're going to have a little fun right now. We're going to yeah. play Ooh. a game that will help us to get as much tea as we can from you as possible. Uh -huh. That's what we do. In 60 seconds, too. It's okay. called Celeb in 60. <laughs> Put 60 seconds on the clock and ask you as many random questions as we can good. until the okay. time runs out. Sounds good? Okay, I'm with it. Okay. Jeannie has the first question, and the clock will start after she's done. Jeannie, fire away. Okay, first thing you would do if you were a boy. Ooh, I would, I would, I would, I would, peace standing up. Oh, Ooh, yes, yes, good one. Oh, if you were a superhero, what would your name be? Uh, super turn up. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> bra or no bra? <gasps> no bra. Yeah. Wait, if you could use Take one sound to describe yourself, what would it be? Um, I like food. <laughs> I like food. First thing you would do if you woke up and you were five years old again? Oh, I would eat a bowl of cereal. Like, there was oh. nothing better than waking up oh, and eating a bowl a of cereal. Yes. Okay, if we use the last thing you ate and the color of the underwear you have on now, <laughs> what would your stripper name be? Last thing you ate. <laughs> um, it would be Kale, Kale Black. When is the last time you dipped it low? Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> I'd say two weeks ago. Uh, yes. Did okay. you ever pee in a pool? Of course. <laughs> Have you ever eaten a bug? Uh, by accident. Harry I chess or shade? Um, sh shade. Shade. Right. <laughs> shade. Well, I, you know, I like a little bit of hair. Yeah. I like, ha I like hair. Yeah. Yes. Shaved, I don't like. I like a smooth look. I don't know. Okay. Do too, All right. I don't mind both. I like hair too. But like, it depends, like, yeah, how much hair. <laughs> exactly. Got, Got it. I, know I gotta sleep on that chest, you okay. know? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much. That was so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. It's Friday, so why not make it fry? Yay! By giving two lucky audience members the chance to win some cash money. <laughs> if you can answer the correct trivia question about us, then you may be walking out of here with a stack of dough, $1,000. Dollars to be exact. Let's play Mega Luck Be a Lady. Hey! Yeah! All right, we got two lucky players here to face off in a trivia battle about us, their favorite talk show host. Let's meet them. Tam Tam. From Sacramento, California, we have Rachel Kirby. Woo! Rachel! Hi, Rachel. All right, Rachel. How well do you think you know the four of us? Oh, I think pretty well. Okay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. And hailing from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, we have Rhoda Reed. <laughs> now, Rhoda, do you think that you know us hosts well enough to win this? I think I know you guys better than you know yourselves quite Ooh, okay. 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 I like that. Okay. Well, here's how you play. I will ask you four trivia questions about us. And in this deck of cards with Jeannie, there are four suited queens. 
The first contestant to buzz in with the correct answer will earn a card for their board right there. If either contestant reaches three queens, you'll win the mega jackpot of one thousand dollars. Now, in case of a tie, we'll split the money fair and square. You got it, ladies? Yes. All right. And beware, because if at any point you buzz in and answer wrong, your opponent will win the card for that question. You don't want to do that, so pay attention. Are you ready to do this? Yes. Okay. All right, let's get this party started. Jeannie, get the first card. Oh, my goodness! It's the Queen of Hearts, Tam Tam! <laughs> All right, ladies, get ready. Here's your question. Tamara has admitted that her bad habit is picking and smelling what? Oh, my God. Rachel. Rachel. Okay. Um, she loves, or she doesn't love, but picking her toenails. That is right. Oh, Woo! my God. I still can't so believe it. You know that. Tamara has that gross habit. It's her toenails, so you win the first card, Rachel. All right. Hey, so gross, Tamara. That's okay. Come on now, Rhoda. You catch up. Here's okay. the next I question. Got I got Rhoda. this. Okay. Jeannie. Okay. Turn over the card. Here we go. Rhoda, you got this. Oh, it's the queen of spades, Miss Jeannie Mai. All right. Listen closely, ladies. Here's your question. Name one of the three cities, one of the three cities Jeannie visited to play games during Real on the Road. Jeannie. All right, Rhoda. New York. Hey. New York, yeah. Yeah. That's, correct. That's correct. She traveled to Chicago, Philadelphia, and bed New York. The queen of spades is yours, Miss Rhoda. All right. It's tied! Oh my Woo! goodness, it's so exciting! All right, flip it over, Jeannie. Next question. Here we question. go. Bam. Oh, it's me, the queen of clubs. Yes! All right, here's your question, ladies. I once admitted on the show that I was most intimidated by which of my co hosts the first time? Rhoda. Oh, dang. Tamara. Oh! That's correct! Yes. It's Tamara that earned you the queen of clubs. Hand it over, Jeannie. All right. All right, come on now. Rachel, you can do this. Yes. I want to split the money, all right? Okay. <laughs> we know what it is. Just flip it over. Oh, the money. It's my boo-boo. Okay, the queen of diamonds, Miss Munchkin. Okay, here's your final question. Listen okay. closely, Rachel. I mean, you, you cool. <laughs> Which of the following men have not been on Adrian's Man Crush Monday? Jack Nicholson, oh. Will Smith, or Justin Bieber. Okay, which one? Jack Nicholson. That's wrong! <laughs> so it's split! It is Woo! Justin Bieber! That means that's the game, but you guys both win $500 apiece! Here you go. $500. One, two, three, four, five. 